So, the PlayStation Plus announcement for March was actually due a couple of days ago, and for whatever reason, it got delayed. Uh, there was state of play where everyone was expecting some PlayStation Plus information, which actually happened. But we've got some pretty cool stuff to talk about today, because there was a huge announcement at state of play about free games coming to PlayStation Plus, so stay tuned. But before we get into it, if you guys are looking to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you're looking for PSN credit on the cheap, or just looking to get cheap pre-ordered games at a decent discounted price, make sure you check out the sponsor Instant Gaming. Everything on their site is usually like 20% off, and the link down in the description will give you a little bit more of a discount as well, so make sure you check them out. But, the free games. Has the announcement actually happened for all of March's games? The simple answer is no. Now, when it comes to delays and the PlayStation Plus release information, this is not the first time it's happened. It has happened quite a few times in the past. Sometimes it's been because of rights issues where European games have ended up being different than the rest of the world, which sometimes is really, really annoying, especially if the game that you're missing out on something that you really, really want to actually play. Um, other times, the rights issues has literally just been they've not managed to sign all the papers to actually release the information, and it's ended up being a last-minute thing, but the games have stayed the same. Apart from that kind of issue, I know a couple of times they've actually delayed the information release. Um, sometimes for good reasons, sometimes for bad. Sometimes it's been because the games have been absolutely terrible. Shocking indie games that everyone was really disappointed and angry about. And literally, it just ended up being a dead silent release of putting a post out the date of release of the games and kind of not talking about them again. But then again, on the other side of things, sometimes they've actually delayed the information release because they've had a huge surprise that they kind of wanted to keep secret and they've announced a massive AAA day one release kind of game going on PlayStation Plus or huge bonus titles or they've just had extra information. For me personally, the fact that nothing was actually kind of mentioned at State of Play about why the information has been delayed kind of says that there's, there's something kind of going on there. And personally, I think for me, I'd say it could possibly be the addition of extra games, but they're still kind of getting stuff sorted. So imagine two PS5 games every month as a, like a dedicated kind of thing. Or imagine a PSVR game every month as a dedicated thing rather than it being classed as an extra bonus game. I think that could be why, or I could be completely wrong and the games could just be awful and they've just not released the information. However, they have said some information about one game that's coming to PlayStation Plus for free, day one release on PS5. Now, the bad news about that means, because it's also a PS4 game, if you're a last-gen kind of player, you have to actually buy this game or PS5 players actually get it for free, and it's a game called Oddworld Soulstorm. Now, Oddworld we've had on PlayStation Plus in the past, and it was actually Oddworld New and Tasty. Now, the only thing that I remember about this game is it was a platformer that was alright and coolish to play. It's not something that I stuck with at all. However, on the loading screen, you kept pressing a button, and the dude on the screen kept farting. Yes. I know. So this coming to PlayStation Plus as a day one release, I think is great. I think a lot of people are going to love it and enjoy it. And with the gameplay clip that we kind of saw, it looks really, really good. I mean, it's still an indie-ish platform title. However, on next-gen system, it just looked fantastic with the graphics, the detail, and everything within the game. I think it's going to be one that's definitely worth a play. However, I don't think it's going to be one that everyone's going to be into. But curious to see what you guys think. Oddworld Soulstorm, when it comes to PlayStation Plus in April, is it something that you're going to be checking out, or is it something that you're going to be skipping? And what are your thoughts on the current delay of the announcement for March's free PlayStation Plus games? Could it be a sign of something new and cool coming? Could it be a sign that we're getting extra bonus games and stuff that they want to keep a surprise? Or is it more likely going to be license issues? Are the games are that terrible that they just don't want to announce it? Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. As soon as there is any more information on the free games for March, I'll be doing a video on it. So make sure you subbed, make sure the notification bell's hit so you don't miss out. But that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.